Welcome back to my vlog once again. Handum man sa Osaka Laigay. Ang nagpadala sa iyang kaagi karon mao ang taga San Fernando panagtaran Cebu. Siya tawo na nato sa pangan na Jose Leto Abarquez sa iyang kaagi sa ipagkabata hangtod na natiguan siya karon. Charot. <laughs> okay. So another topic for this day or another topic for this is the chemical formulations. Okay? So we na to go now to the omega-3 fats. Hando man sa Osaka. O diba? So, but before that, I will drink Almarai Lofa Milk. Milk. Charoch. Okay, okay. Lofa diet, right? Oh my gosh. Oh, ganon. Nakakadoka. O diba? So, ganon. So, again, my dinner is only, what's this? Okay. You know my system, guys? My immune system doesn't work anymore. Okay, really? I wonder why. <laughs> I'm rare, right? I'm unique. Okay. See, my dinner is only Zatar Croissant. This one. Okay, this costs only one real. So if you try to convert this to Philippine peso, multiply it to with 40 point something. Okay? Mula niya ang akong dinner. Makatug na ko anong higayun na. Charach. Ganan. Mmm. Parisan of low fat milk. Diba? I cannot escape because this is also a refined. So if that is the case, I will no longer eat because I don't have other choice, right? I have the well, the brown bread is already kalas kasi na finish ko ng brown bread. So I need to eat this zatar. What's zatar? Croissant. Mmm, it's good. Nakakaloka. Diba? Mmm! Nakakaloka! Mmm! Nag-add ko fat! Pero low. <laughs> o di ba at least? Mm. Guys, this is not sweet. Not salty also. Somewhat katamtaman siya. Sarap! Ang akong sarap is not masarap for others. Di ba? Pura niyo siya. Ang sarap ko pala sa kuka. Hindi mo na niyo sa mag-ibang. May snacks sa uban. Snacks rin sa uban. sa kalay gay. Ang gilay gay karon gabi una ang kaagi ni Junjun. Tara. Okay? Ganan. So we need to discuss the the, the the mechanism of how this saturated fats will become unsaturated things like that, okay? To the point. So long kita ito lang ni Mula ko ng title title, uy. Okay. Kaloka. Diba? So, we will start with the saturated fatty acids. Okay? Nakakaloka, mga palangga. Really? Okay. 
being saturated, the bar saturated fats. Okay, like this. Okay. The non, again, for example, cherric acid, for example, only. So, so it will become here. So if we introduce the enzyme, yeah, because enzyme is always to activate or to inhibit the chemical reactions to produce the desired substance. And then the enzyme, guys, will not function if the cell receptor shape is not equal to the shape of the enzyme. Okay, that's the characteristics. So we need to introduce a, a substance that is have a perfect shape to that particular, you know, receptor, cell receptor of our vital organ. So it will be eaten there, gone on, and then they will, it will become a nutrient to that particular vital organ. If it is not compatible, it will not accept things like that. So the enzyme will push that. Okay, so that's the job of the enzyme. Okay, so without enzymes, then we can produce also necessary nutrients and vitamins that will be needed by our vital organs. So we will not take for granted for the rules and functions of our enzyme substances inside our body. Okay, for example, if you eat a burger or let's say roasted chicken, okay, that is battered chicken or battered chicken also, for example, and it is saturated fat, right? You will introduce inside your body uh, delta 9 desaturase enzyme. Okay? Meaning you need to remove the saturation. That's why desaturase. Okay? D. D means removal in English. Okay? So desaturase, you will remove the saturation. Since the enzyme ends in ASE, that's why you put the letters A, S, E. If you ASE in the last terms in different science references, that is an enzyme already. For example, pectinase, okay, you, like that, okay? So, uh, synthase, gamganon, carboxylate, dehydrogenase, gamganon, okay? You got the point? Oh, let's say red balloons, red balloons, biphosphate, carboxylase, dehydrogenase. Well, Robesco, okay, Robesco process in producing energy through the process of um, glycolysis and converted to glycolysis, something like that, okay, to produce energy, okay, we need the Robesco process, and that is ribulose, <laughs> biphosphate, okay, carboxylase, dehydrogenase, ganon, Robesco, okay. So, what's the question? Desaturase. That's it. Dehydrogenase. Okay, meaning removal of hydrogen. Something like that. Through an enzyme, hydrogenase. Something like that. You get the point. So, A is your enzyme. So that you can familiar, for example, if you take examinations, then you have to identify. Identify the following substance A. Blah, blah, blah. What's this substance all about? A, protein, B, hormone, C, like that. And you can, ah, oh, that's an enzyme. Okay, come on. Perfect. Okay, you get the point. So that's A S E. There's O S E. Then you can find that it's also sugar. Okay, hexose, pentose. Okay, octanose, pentanose, dodecanose. Oh, the back. Okay, that's sugar. O S E. Canon. Which of the following is a sugar substance? And your choices will be A pentose, B uh, amylase. Like that. So, in the word alone, even though you did that study, you can answer because of the technique and strategy when to identify or how to identify substance. Okay? Yeah. Like that. Okay? Gone on. If it ends in I-N-E, dodoakan pa na siya, guys. 50-50. Could either be, oh, not 50-50 because 3, it could either be hormone, protein, and amino acid. Okay? So how can you distinguish now? You need to determine the general functional formula. Okay, things like that for that. Okay, so I already teach you that particular blocks last month, right? Okay, so we have now delta 9 desaturase. Why delta 9? Because it is in the carbon number 9, you have to introduce that unsaturation. Okay, now it will become unsaturated here. 
Okay. From saturated, it will become unsaturated. Okay. But this is only mono and saturated because you are only in the ninth carbon atom. So mono and saturated. Okay, from saturated. So for example, if we give examples, cherric acid, okay, is an ingredient in you know shampoo, soap, cosmetology products like that, okay, makeup, like that, moisturizer, whatever. So it will be converted to oleic acid after introducing an enzyme deltanine desaturase. Okay, it will become an oleic acid. Okay, then this oleic acid, since you introduce the enzyme in carbon number nine, you will call this a nine. Okay, since cherric acid has 18, 18 carbon atoms, so 18 meaning octadeca. Hmm. Octa means eight. Deca means 10. 10 plus 8 is 18. The rule says you will put first the lesser, second the larger. Octa is lesser because it is 8. 10 is larger. So we will say octa deca. So 9 octa deca. Oh, okay. And then since there are only one double bond for this, okay, so there is a word E N E for double bond. E N E, right? For triple bond, Y N E. For single bond, A N E, like that. But this is introducing double bond in carbon number nine atom. Then we can say decanoic acid. Okay? Decanoic acid. We need to say octadecaenoic acid. I call to change that so because A N E can, can be pronounced as octadecanoic acid but to make it sure so that everybody can understand it's B octadecaenoic acid okay right so we need to write the formula now for this so this is one double bond under the carbon number nine okay so cherric acid is C18H36O2 then it will become or reduce to C 18 H 34 O2. So what happened to the two atoms of hydrogen? It's deducted by two. So this is the presence of one double bond. Okay, you get the point. So I will show now the formula of monounsaturated oleic acid. For example, canola oil, okay, the cotton seed oil, the corn oil, the sunflower oil the soybean oil, the oatmeal, okay, the wet bread, the whole wet bread, okay. So these are the examples of oleic acid, mono, unsaturated fats, because there is one double bond, we introduce one single bond, that's why it becomes a little bit healthier compared to the saturated fats that our original reactant or original raw material. Okay, you got the point? Things like that. So what's the formula now of oleic acid? Okay, it's going to be like here. Since oleic acid, the requirement of oleic acid is only one, so it will not be a conjugated. The conjugated meaning it will be a bended, going down, going up, going down, going up. There will be an introduction of like a benzene, uh, a ring, something like that, but it is not totally closed. It's open, but a little bit like a benzene. Later I will show you that's conjugated meaning. Okay, you get the point. But in here of all it, there's no conjugated yet because this is only one double pond. And it is not a requirement to have a conjugated based on one double pond. It is always N3 or more. You get the point. Anaksha. You get the point. Then also, if there is 18 carbon atoms like that, you have one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, then on. So this chart, okay, if you remember the topic of physics, we have the trough and the crest. The trough is the is the highest form of a wave 
and the down part is the the crest C R E S T something like that the like and then the height will be the altitude okay and the total uh, length covered distance covered is the wavelength okay you get the point so that is really the principle of physics right regarding about uh, electromagnetic waves something like that okay so same like that our the way how we write it okay so like that just like a zig 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 like this and then the carbon will be here and this is the carbon also here like carbon 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 and we will come one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen come on okay come on shot okay since you introduce uh, let's do the numbering starting from the right okay because if you try to follow the normal naming you will start start to the right but if you try to follow the omega naming you have to start to the left okay that's why omega 3 omega 6 omega 9 that's numbering counting from the left in the role of organic chemistry now if from the right it will be the normal naming of a certain organic compound Okay, so every time you will do that, you have to specify the carbon atoms numbering. Okay, so one, I will have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And I said nine octadecanoic acid. So this is number, the double one will be in number nine. How? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I will put the double one here. Tadada, ganon. Okay? Tadada, ganon. Number nine, or number eight. The double one will be here. Ganon. Okay? So, your structure will look bad yet because it's only one. Okay? That's the point. So this is octa, octadecanoic acid. Now, if you start with the left to really find out if this is an omega thing, you count also from the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. So actually, this is omega nine fatty acids. Okay. So if it is too far, the more it will not become also healthy in the omega thing. Naming. For example, omega-3 fats good for the heart because 3 is small. The more the number will become high, omega-12, omega-14, omega-15, the more it will not also become healthy. You got the point? So it just happens that the fish, okay, the tuna, the mackerel, the salmon, the avocado, the, the olive oil, things like that, or any unsaturated uh, oils like that, Name it, the soybeans, like that, the crociferous vegetables, crociferous meaning spinach, cabbage, uh, ripoli, cauliflower, uh, things like that, and also broccoli. So these are crociferous vegetables that is healthy, that's omega fats, okay, three, something like that. So the more it will become lesser, the numbering, the more it will become good, okay, but because there will be no omega-1, omega-2. The minimum is omega-3. Did you see any book saying omega-1, omega-2? It's nothing, right? Because the standard is only omega-3 in naming the healthier food. Okay, so omega-9 is not that good. Omega-6 is a little bit better. Okay, than omega-9. There's also omega-6, for example. We have the cotton seed oil like that. We have the safflower oil, the corn oil. Things like that, okay? Omega-6, mga omega-6, chuba chucho. Okay? So, omega-9 is very rare. Because that's why we don't usually put that in the books. That it is a healthy... In fact, that's not so healthy, right? You get the point? So, no need. We, we go back to the living like this. Okay? So, this is from saturated to monounsaturated. Specifically, the oleic acid. From cherry acid with the enzyme called delta-9 desaturates okay so meaning to say in this particular uh, process monounsaturated fats is really 
can be biosynthesized inside our body. Meaning to say, it can be produced by the natural reaction inside our body. So meaning to say, mga palaga, kung hitad, this is not yet the essential fats okay, that we buy in the market through supplements, food supplements, uh, multivitamins, or dietary, you know, whatever that you will take outside to have oleic acid. This is in the natural reaction. So this is non-essential fat pa siya. Okay? This oleic acid. Well, only one double band kasi siya. Okay, now, if we try to introduce another enzyme here after monounsaturated to become polyunsaturated, okay? See, so is possible or not? Okay. It is possible or not? For example, we will add uh, Delta 12. D Delta 12 desaturase. D12, uh, D15 desaturase. Is possible or not? It's not possible because oleic acid is not essential already. Stop. The reaction will stop there. Tank. Ganon. So this, the polyunsaturated unsaturated fast is another thing from outside sources. Okay, like the plants you take into your body, like that, the foods you take into your body. But this only can be synthesized inside the body. Reactions, chemical reactions. Okay, you get the point. So, now we go to the polyunsaturated. Okay. Poly meaning two or more. The, the olic is mono meaning one. Double. So, this means two or more double bands because poly okay like this p-o-l-y okay ganon okay so polyunsaturated okay ganon so polyunsaturated polyunsaturated fats can be classified now into guys we got such as a board exam okay in our time before so this is going to be a uh, linolic. The question there, as far as my memory is concerned, which of the following is not an unsaturated fat? The choices is very, very close. A, oleic acid. B, linolic acid. D, linolinic acid. D, lanolic acid. E, like that. Lanolic E, none of the above. Something like that. So the answer will be lanolic acid because lanolic acid comes from lanolin. So that is more on cosmetology raw material used in perfume, like that, okay, or spray to, to, to make smell good. So that is lanolin or sometimes used in the moisturizer in your skin. So that is the, the only difference there because this, the mentioned there are all about unsaturated fats and oils. So if you will not love reading, nah, nah. Because these things cannot be discussed all by the instructors in college. This is true initiative. Okay? Mono siya nung dan nga nung nai eyeglass ang akong mata. Okay? Because every time I will always wait in the library. Okay? Things like that. Nadaot po na akong mata. Okay? There's a consequence. <laughs> okay. So my left eye is 50 and my right eye is 75. Okay. It's gonna be that. But even though I have this before, you know, when I was young, when I was 20 plus, when I graduated, I, oh my gosh, I really passed the dexterity test in Taiwan. Okay, in Taiwan examination. Uh, because that's the time when the Taiwan uh, abroad is exploding, and then I apply something like, oh my gosh, there are a lot of people applying in, uh, that is in a uh, Shangri La Hotel, something like that. And then, and I try lang po ato, okay? <laughs> and then, sa dexterity test, meaning your visual, right? There's a color for chuba chuba chuba. And then, the Taiwanese will give you, what's the color for this? And uh, what's the number is in there? Like, 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 two, four, six. Thanks, give up. Kuala, give up. Kuala, give up. Kuala, give up. Oh my gosh. Okay, things like that, okay? So, dexterity test, interview, and then written examination. Okay? And the height requirement is, Five three above because Taiwan loves the height. You cannot be a, you cannot be in the production worker or factory worker if your height will not 
uh, beyond five to me, something like that. Okay, so the height matters a lot. Sa tour ko ni tong tong five three and five three and one half. Okay, it's gonna be like that. Okay, na agad na tong seven o'clock sa gabi. And then, oh my God, na pagtawag. Wait, is that it? Who's your big guys? And number, pagtawag ron. Number one, ako yung pagkala na natawag ko una. I was shocked. Okay, nakakalo ka. So, dahil kami ato guys, wait, no? ang ipili nung no, kaya kung ano yung kabuo, 20, ah, oh, 30, 20 ang babae, 10 ang lalaki, out of, pila to kapag dahil kaya ito yung mga hundreds, guto kapin, or whatever, okay, napuno guto ang hotel, okay, but the point, so it's gonna be linolic acid, okay, and ako lang yung share, okay, like that, okay, like that, and then we have the linolinic acid, Okay, come on. Diba? Okay. So, klaro tayo siya, guys, na ang linolinic, omega-3 fats na siya daan. Okay? Omega-3 fats. Now, let's prove the linolinic acid if it is also an omega-3 fats. By showing the structural orientation. Right? Things like that. Okay, linolinic acid by principle... We don't need to add enzyme because this is essential fats already, right? Okay, so we have two double bands for this. Okay, two double bands. Okay, nakakaloka. So, divide. You can easily understand also this case if your course also will be related to, uh, wait, polymer, pol biggest polymer engineering and BS. Uh, petroleum engineering. This is largely discussed there technically in the subjects of polymer engineering and petroleum engineering and also a little bit in nuclear engineering but not that much. Okay, Because in chemical engineering, this is only a subject. This is not really rigid in chemical engineering. Maybe BS chemistry is more good to us compared in this topic. The BS chem. Okay? Because they are highly too much in theories because chemical engineering is more on the design it's more on the math like the chemistry is also so many but not really that uh, comparable to BS chemistry all are theory deep theories they have also less math that's why okay but the point dapat plus ako ang BS chemistry okay lago na ako ang mga theories principles and concepts magdabalik okay you got the point Actually, wala mo BS chemistry sa akong academic scholarship, presidential scholarship, guys. Plus, yung engineering ay nakakaluka. Ang ganang ka BS chemistry. Okay, you get the point? Okay, di ba, nawala na dito ang broadcast journalist. BS journalist. Ah, I love mass communication major in broadcast journalism. It's my favorite, really, course you know, when I graduated in high school. But it was not reflected in my scholarship. Things like that. Alam naman kami rin mong parents by them. Well, kabayat, pait kayo. So, ato juga sa mga scholarship na nakalista dito sa linya, nakahilira, ta 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 ganon. Yung naman yung chemical engineering, mo may BS chemistry. Okay? Dagan mo engineering o industrial, mechanical, electrical, chemical, like that. Dito nun ako sa chemical, chemistry, doon doon sa chemistry because I love chemistry that much, right? Okay? No to shock. Kung nakapalan to yung BS chemistry, then BS chemistry, yung ko. Diba? Ganon. Okay. So, good. Lenonic acid. Naiduha ka double bonds. Ari ni siya, guys, mga palang ba? Sa 9-12. Okay. Take note also the, 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 the gap. Gap, beta wag ka na, guys. Uh, the pattern na, the patterning of the long rib. Okay? You have to be alert. Something like that. Okay? Just like in uh, abstract reasoning examination, ha? Huh? Uh, observe the orientation, the, the, the ascending order, the descending order, the you know, the patterning or the sequencing, things like that. Okay, this is 9, 12. Okay, you, know, you will remember here in our elementary math that the add numbers and the even numbers. Okay, you get the point. Things like that. Okay, and then what are prime numbers? the point 
What is the difference between the prime numbers and the even numbers? Okay, 9, 12. Ang imong double band. Ang kalala kong itad. Okay, from saturated to monosaturated to fully unsaturated going to linoleic, there's still 18 carbons, ha? 18 carbon atoms. Okay, muli ipasok sa inyong buwan, brain cells. Okay. Okay. Again, from saturated to mono saturated. Okay. Till linoleic acid. Your number of carbon atom is always eighteen. Okay. Take the the, the sequence. Huh? Saturated to mono saturated to poly saturated up to only linoleic acid, and the last will be double bands. Okay. The carbon atoms will be 80. Okay, ganon. Sa ato na ito, magpapin na ito kung kalang aking mitad. Things like that. So, 18 carbons. One. Wait. One. Shh. Ito pa sa guys, ha? Kalo ka. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, ganaan. Hindi ka din nangyari. Okay. So, under some penetrate, guys, but ganaan siya si OOH. Okay, because this is carboxyl family. So, carbon, double bond, oxygen, COH, carboxylic functional group. Carboxylic acid in the carbon number 1. Ganaan. So, lagal na number 8. 2, 3, gano'n ang tell, gano'n, gano'n, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, ang 18 mo is CH3. Gano'n. So, the hydrogens will adjust only for the carbon atoms, ha? You get the point? The here will be the hydrogen. Wala na kong i-illustrate ang hydrogen because that is not our concern. Actually, there's still hydrogen here. Like that. Okay, but I don't emphasize this because that is not our concern. You get the point? But to make it stretch, there are always hydrogen somewhere here. Ting, ting, ting. And then four atoms ang iyan band. No, four bands yan. Single band in hydrogen. Okay? Now, hindi naman ko guys na 9 to 12. So, I will say, yeah, po, na octa-deca. Okay. Octa-deca. Okay. Now, how many double band you introduce? Because there are two. So, you will say, di. Okay. Then, add enoic acid. Okay. Because that is an acid, you have to add IC. Okay. Like that. You need to put it at the point. Oh. Hydrochloric acid, you add also IC, right? Sulfuric acid, you should also add IC. The same in organic chemistry, you also add IC here. Actually, this is E and E. And the E will be removed, changed with OIC. That's the rule, enoic. Okay, ganon. So, ito ba, kung try po ba na lang siya? Wynoic. <laughs> okay, ganon. Okay, that's the point. So, I said, 9, 12, octadecatainoic acid. Okay? Very difficult, right? So, 9, 12, octadecatainoic acid. Oh my gosh. Papalit na po 9, 12, octadecatainoic acid. Nung makasagot ang dinira. Ang imo lang ipalit dahil kung ang rakanula oil. Nga na, di ba? Di ito siya masagkan. Unless you're studying. Okay, get the point. So, 9, 12, octadecadienoic acid. So, your first double bond will be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here, 9 na siya. Here, 9. Double bond here. Ganon. So, 12. 10, 11, 12. Your bond will be here. Ganon. Okay, still not yet have a conjugated because this is only two or two bonds. The minimum for conjugation is three double bands. Okay, so this will now become 9, 12, octadecadinoic acid. Then if you try to consider the omega thing, omega naming, so start from the right. So 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's in the twelve. So you will say omega six. Okay, six, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is omega six, nine fatty acids. Okay. You get the point. Linoleic acid is equivalent to, okay, omega six and nine fatty acids. Okay. Usually, they will not emphasize the 9 because it's not healthy. You know? It's not really the emphasis. It's always omega 6 and omega 3. The moment she mga healthy, healthy, chuba chu chu. Beyond 7, they na not healthy um, organic compound. Okay, so omega nili. You got the point. Anak siya. Okay, in terms of the fats, guys, ha? not the carbohydrates, not the lipids, not the nucleic acid, not the amino acids, things like that. Okay, exclusive only for fats and lipid family. Okay, you got the point. So like that. So that is linoleic acid. So if the question in the board examination will say, what is the another name of 912 octadecadenoic acid? A. Um, lanolin. B. Sulfuric acid. And then one. So your answer will be linoleic acid. Okay. So, if you don't have an idea, you cannot answer, really, right? Things like that. Okay, and now we, we go to linolenic acid. This is now the polyacetylated fatty acids, the three or more double bands. Okay. Kasi siya makabuang niya siya kaya sa kati carbons. Nabakaloka. Okay. Diba? Okay. So, Let's go with the tip first before structuring. We need to go to the strategy first. Okay, so we have these are called three omega three fats. Okay, omega three fats or fatty acids. This is known as good for the heart, fights cardiovascular diseases, coronary diseases, and prevents okay cancers and prevents also inflammation okay eye disorder you know eye disorder and macular degeneration what is macular degeneration it avoids causing you know cataract night blindness and cerephthalmia meaning blindness okay so this omega-3 fats not only limited to the heart but also to the other diseases also okay the more you have also omega-3 fats the more also your skin will become smooth Okay, smoother. No need to put lotion. Okay. Then it also a little bit whiten. Hindi siya magaspam. If you have rich in omega-3 fats in having fish oil in your cooking or let's say mackerel, salmon, tuna, all about fishes, aquatic food. Okay? Ganon. Okay. So omega-3 fats composed of ALA, this is not the GAD, but ALA, acronym. ALA, E-L-A, we have the D-H-A, the E-P-A. The E-P-A also is not an environmental protection agency, but it's another term. Okay, we have the D-H-A, okay. Okay, this is not also dihydroxylic acid. This is also another term because there are sometimes also acronyms have double meaning. It depends on the context what you are referring. We are referring to the fats. So it's impossible when we're talking about Environmental Protection Agency, right? You get the point? Okay, ALA, meaning A L E. This is alpha linolenic acid. Okay, linolenic acid. Oh my gosh. Linolenic acid. Okay. Take it to the spelling, huh? Linolenic acid. Okay. Okay. The EPA will be the ECOSA, ECOSA pentaenoic acid. Pentaenoic acid. Oh, nakakalo ka naman yan. Okay. Acid. That is 
echo sa pentanoic acid yun. E means for echo sa, pentanoic for P, and acid for A. That's why E pa. Okay. DHA, this is doko sa, okay, doko sa hexanoic acid. Hexa ekanoic acid. Ipaspas na lang kung pwede mo makalimot ka ekanoic acid. Yan naman. Okay. So, naakin mo yung ekanoic acid para di mo maglipo. Okay? Like that. Okay. Now, so, linolinic acid is very easy to remember because it come, it's coming from the linolinic term. And you just add acid. And it's alpha because it's in the there, in the carbonyl group, in the right. Okay? Then the ikusa, so I told you guys, ikusa meaning Okay, nakatalong. Ang taas na kami siya, guys. This is 20 atoms of carbon. Okay? So, meaning, if you have uh, deca, this is deca plus deca. Ano? Yes, yeah. Deca plus deca is equal to deca raised to the power 2. Like math, right? X. Okay? Then X plus X is equal to 2X. Musi na siya. Deca plus deca is equal to ekosa. Okay, deca 10 plus another deca, this is ekosa. Okay? Take note of spelling, E-I-C-O-S-A. That is 20 atoms of carbon. Okay? Now, if you try to be clever also, there's 19, and you don't know, because your teacher did not told you. Okay? You have the base 10. Try to consider always the base 10, which is the deca. And then put only the 9. 9 is nona, right? So, nona dika. As I said, for organic chemistry, the less naming of carbon atoms will be uh, uh, expressed first. Oh, for example, 17. Okay. 10 is the, the original parent backbone of your carbon. So, 10 is dika. 7 is, you will say, hepta dika in your naming. Because you will say, dika hepta maromaka. That's not correct because in organic chemistry naming, it should not be rumbled. It is in a specified manner, in a particular order. Okay? You will never say, hep you will never say, uh, deca hepta. You will say, hepta deca for 17. Okay? Nona deca for 19. For the 20, you will never say deca deca because it's 10 and 10. There's a special name which is ecosa. Okay, and this is not discussed also properly in chemical engineering. As I told you, we are not more on the theory and principles and concepts in chemistry. We are on math, in design, engineering, like that, okay? Application, like that, okay? So we are not really that good in highly theoretical aspects in chemistry, okay? Bilihun bagan is a BS pharmacy or BS chemistry or BS technology or the medical science in terms of chemistry, especially substances. The chemical po ng substances. Okay? To, to be honest with you, I'm a licensed chemical engineer, but regarding substances, chemical reactions, uh, I'm not really familiar at all. Okay? I'm just knowing this through research, reading. Though I have already the basics, but there are really deep okay, chemical reactions. Okay, as, as I go along the way. Okay, we have the DHA. Okay, DHA is docosa hexanoic acid. Okay, meaning to say 22. Okay, so this is also special. This is deca plus deca. What's up with 2? Okay, nasa na siya equivalent ang 2. So, dodica. Ganon. Diba ang 12 is dodi? Dodica. Meaning to say ang 2 do. <laughs> I will say do, um, do decanoic acid meaning there are 12 so 12 is do, de, do de. okay 12 is do de already right and you have 10 so actually you will say do de deca okay or deca do de, because the lesser number of one so deca do de. I will say supposedly deca do de hexanoic acid but it's never like that. So there's a special also for 22 carbon atoms named docosa. Okay? So in this manner, you only try to remember the cosa term. 
Okay? Like at Tagalog, kusa akong umibig. So, mag, it's very easy to remember. Kusa akong nagmamahal. But in this case, the kusa is not the Q-U-S-A sa Tagalog, in, which is C-O-S-A lang siya. In that way, in your memorization, it's easy to remember. Kusa akong umibig. So, pala, ano pala yun? Ah, do kusa, hexanoic acid. Ano yan? Oh, kusa akong umiibig. Mga na din ka. O, diba? Eko sa hexanoic acid. During your memorization technique. Para madali. Okay? Because the pentagon stands for five bands siya. Naglaro na kayo pasok sa banga. Meaning to say there are five double bands kay pentaman. Pentaginoic. And then hexanoic. So there are six double bands. Para kayo pasok sa banga. Okay? You get the point. So yun yung memorization. Para din siya marambul. Okay. Now, imo yung determine ang mga double bands. Inihigal yun na. Okay. So, in this case, the double bands will increase. In ADA, we have three double bands. In EPA, we have five double bands. In DHA, we have six double bands. So, three, five, six. Ibu sana itu nurais yang brain cells. Three, five, six. Three, five, six. If you talk about only a saturated fats, so you should memorize that while you are still first year college, so that when you reach fifty years old, it's always in your brain cells. Three, five, six double bands. 3, 5, 6, 2. Imo siya yung pinunod, baka buwang baya siya, pero imo na siya kung ano basag doon. Okay? So, 3, 5, 6. That's the number of the double bands. Okay. Now, in ratio and proportion, you will always take note the parent at atom element, which is the carbon. So, in ala, okay, there is 18. So, you will say, 18 is to 3. Like that. So, for example, in the board exam, you will say, which of the following polyunsaturated is 18 is to 3? Understood naman siya na carbon atom ratio to double band. It should not be taught again once again because that is basic from the lower years. That that's already, the total carbon number of atoms is 2. How many number of double bands? So, automatic na siya. Hindi ibalik-balik mo. Magkita na tayo prerequisite subjects because that is the purpose. When we do the another higher subjects, it's already expected. You know that already in your lower years. That is what we call prerequisite subjects. You can take You cannot take that subject without passing the prerequisite subjects first. So that's the purpose. So it's never taught again and again and again and again. Okay, so the total number of carbon atoms in the ala, and familiar with us, it is 18. So 18 is to 3 because there are 3 double bonds. Okay, going to EPA, EPOSA, pentanoic acid. Oh, total number of carbon atoms, I said 20 a while ago. So 20 is to 5. And then if you go to the doctor, sa hexaconic acid, di ba? Yung mga 22. Oh, 22 carbon atoms. So, 22 S2. How many double or hexaman? So, 6. 22 S2, 6. So, if the examination will say, which of the following is a doco hexaloic acid? A. 18 is to 3. 24 is to 5. 22 is to 6. And of the above. So, usually, if you are not dealing with some, you cannot answer. But the answer will be, The 22 is to 6 for docosahexanoic acid or the DHA. Sometimes, already DHA, you need to specify the terms. Really guys, ganun siya katindi. Sometimes the acronym only will be given and you will identify what chemicals are that. That's the point. For example, EDTA. For use in the titration, that is ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. So that's EDTA solution. Things like that. Okay, so you have to identify MCT, medium chain triglycerides, yung ganon. Okay, SCFA, short chain fatty acid, mga ganon-ganon. Okay, AVED, what is AVED? Okay, ATAXA, vitamin E deficiency, that's AVED. Okay, mga ganon siya, ADHD, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, this is ADHD. You are... Having an less attention of your people, ADHD. That is a disorder for normally for a child, hyperactive, and you need to be catch to somebody else so that you will be noticed. Okay, magpatagad. So that is ADHD. ADHD peoples. There's a lot of ADHD people. Magpatagad yung kasi gawat ang da. Ganon. So this is a disorder also. Okay, hyperactive people that cannot resist. In going to the pool, mga tulong yung tiil, mga tulong yung kamot mo ato sa disco, di ka pugong. Mga tulong ang tiil, mga tulong ang kamot kung dili katagay. 
Mga ito lang tiil, mga ito kung dili ka digde. These are ADHD, hyperactivity. That you are addictive to something. You cannot stop. Okay, you get the point? Ganon. Okay, now going back. So, DHA. Ganon. Okay. So, ganon siya. Now, let's go to the chemical formulations. Structural chemical formula. Okay. Ganon. Okay. This is very difficult now kasi because you need to identify the conjugated uh, aromatic ring, open aromatic ring. Okay? Sing like that. My gosh! Oh, nakakaloka mga balaga kong hitad. So, ako guys, ang akong tema ng guys nung kanayang yung mga tumoy-tumoy. Something like that. Okay, then, ako rin tema ng kapang mga automatic ikot. Like carbon, okay, and then like that. Okay? So, let us start to the ala. Diba? The ala is 18 is to 3. So, 3 double bonds. So, pasok sa banga. Okay, then 18 carbon atoms. So, ano na yung shock? Okay? Ganon! So, the ala yung nasusot. Pero, yes, ana, ang hindi nag-shock. Shock. So, ana siya. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 6 siya ka buo. Tadadad, 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 tadadad. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Ipunin na naman siya di Ari. O. Na naman siya si OOH di Ari. O. Pasok sa baga. COOH meaning carbon atom double bond with oxygen and single band what? Single band with hydroxide. OH or hydroxyl group. Bilit so na na nag COOH. Ito ka dali. Okay. You get the point. Ito ka dali. Ito ka dali. Ito ka dali. Ito ka dali. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay? Ganda na, di ba? Okay. Ano? Okay. So, mag-conjugate ka sa 13. Because, ano ka? 9, 12, 15 for ano. Because this 9 is one double bond. This 12 is one double bond. This 15 is... Well, we'll take note the difference is 3. So 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 3 is 15. In your memorization. So that you can easy to detect the, the sequencing. Okay. 9, 12, 15. So it's in the carbon number 9. So the carbon, carbon, carbon number 9 is 3, right? Got on. So in the carbon number 9, you have to put the conjugation now here. Like that. ta da da ta da da ta da da ta da da ta da So this will be your double bond in the 9. What's the next? 12, 10, 11, 12. Ganon. So, ano mo? Conjugate din ka sa 12 of double bond. Okay. Then, 13 po tayo yan. 13, 14, okay, 15. Ganon. Okay. So, mag-conjugate na kaanan ni kayo niya. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And then, 16, 17, 18. Okay? 15, 16, 17, 18. Because there are 18 all in your carbon atoms. So the conjugate will be somewhere along here. That you produce uh, like a benzene ring, but it's open at the top and the bottom. Okay? See, open here. Oh, like that. That's conjugate base. Like that. Now, the 12, you will put the double bond here. Da, da, da. Oh, the 15, so 13, 14, 15, you put the double band here. So count the double band. 1, 2, 3. So you have that 3 here. Pasok sa banga. Oh. There are 18 carbons and pasok sa banga. That's why 18 is to 3. And this is 9, 12, 15. And this is 18 carbons. 18 meaning 10 atoms of carbon plus 8 atoms of carbon. This is octa, deca. Right, so 9, 12, 15, octa, deca. Then how many double bands you have? 1, 2, 3. This is trienoic acid. Trienoic acid. Like that. Okay? Okay. It's gonna be like that. That is 9, 12, 15, octa, deca. Trienoic as it means tri means three, three double bonds. Okay, this is starting from the right. How about starting?
that namely with this the omega thing. Okay, counting. One, two, three. Oh, this is omega three fats pala. Omega three fats na. So, three, four, five, six. Omega six then. Omega six fats. Seven, eight, nine. Omega nine full. Omega nine fats. So, that's why ala is called omega 3 comma 6 comma 9 comma fats now when the manufacturer produce the products in the market they eliminate the meaning of 6 and 9 because they are not concerned for that they are concerned with the 3 because that is good for the heart as i told you reduce inflammation of the vital organs you know like that and prevents cancer good for the skin or any type of disorders in the body, okay, to prevent any chronic diseases, they are highlighting the omega-3 fats good for the heart, okay, for that substances. Ala, what are examples of ala? Alpha linoleic acid is the same name with 9, 12, 15 octa tetracatrinoic acid. This is probably memorized on the brain, no? So 9, 12, 15, octa, teca, trilinoic acid. Kakaloka. So it's better to see ala. Alpha, linolinic acid. Diba? Okay. So, if you can see the alpha linolinic acid in the food products, that is equivalent to this formula. But this is not written because this is difficult to manage. Not widely used, this one. It's only in the subjects when you go to school, in university. But the general term will be used, the common, the ALA, the HA, like that. In fact, don't also put the close and open parentheses sometimes. What's so the meaning of ALA? Okay? Understood na naman. Muna siya ang alpha-linolinic acid. Okay. For example, alpha-linolinic acid. Okay? This is usually from the plant sources, fruits and vegetable sources. So oil, something like that. We have the avocado. Avocado is rich in omega-3 fats. Very healthy. Okay. Number two, oatmeal or quaker oats. Quaker oats is good for the diet. Aside from having a fiber that is a prebiotic good for our bio family, good bacteria. It's also produced a short-chain fatty acid butyrate. Something like that for our digestive health. So that our colon will not be easily wounded, okay, will not be easily bleeding, and it cannot produce a leaky cup. And this leaky gut means leak. There's a leak in the gut. Gut means large intestine plus small intestine is equal to the gut, G-U-T. When we say gut health, that means digestive health, because digestive is composed of large intestine and small intestine plus the other chuva chuchu, for example, the pancreas, the gallbladder, or whatever. But it's the main points there are the large intestine and the small intestine. The digestion of the food will be happening in the small intestines. Okay? You get the point. Things like that. Okay, the more you have the prebiotics or the fiber thing, the more the digestion process will be good. Okay? You will never be hungry fast if you eat rich fiber food or grain or granular or legume family food. Whole grain, G R A I N, or legume, L G U M E. Okay? Mga beans, mga dalma chuba chucha, you get the point. And then mga legume family, mga nuts family. Nuts family is healthy to the health. Okay? Uh, for example, pistachio, almond, peanuts, hazelnuts, chia seeds, yung gano mga diba? Sunflower seeds, yung gano mga. Types of nuts, 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 ganon. Almonds, ganon. Okay? Brazil nuts. Okay? You get the point. Hazel nuts. You get the point. Things like that. Okay. Number three, we have the cold wet bread. Okay? Wet bread. Okay? Like that. Okay? We have also the brown bread. Okay? For me, I go for the brown bread because these other things are not listed in the bakala or whatever. It's very difficult. But the quaker oat, I cannot also... <laughs> I cannot adjust for the taste. Very tasteless. Then, it, 
it will push me to put sugar. Then I avoid sugar. That's why I don't buy Quaker oats. Is it the point? That's the main reason. But that is healthy. Okay. And avocado is not common in the market here. And the and the quality is not good. It's not big avocado. It's very hard. Okay. So even though this is very healthy. Okay. And then we have the olive oil. Ganon. Canola oil. Ganon. Chia seed. Seed. Okay. Flax seed. Okay, that's the point. Flax seed, soybean oil, corn oil, then the mochi machuchu. Okay, things like that. Okay, and the nuts family, whatever. Okay, so these are the examples of ala. Oh. Okay, it, the ala will be enough because there are three double bands already. Okay, you get the word. And this is ala. Now we go to the DHA. Okay, so these are the foods, ha? Huh? For the ala, for the omega-3 fats. Again, omega-3 fats prevents cancer and inflammation of our vital organs. They can help destroy bad bacteria and destroy the antigens that will uh, try to, if, to go into the free radicals in your air, uh, system. Free radicals, meaning the, you know, the outlet of the virus to stay. And the bacteria, their place. That's why we need to remove these free radicals. So we need to avoid oxidation, rapid oxidation, chemical reactions inside our body. You get the point? We don't have lone pair oxygen. Okay? Because it's coming from active species oxygen after the cellular respiration. Okay? In the, you know, glucolysis, the cycle, right? After that, go to the, you know, pyruvate, go to the, you know, citrate, go to the Krebs cycle, go to the, you know, the, the, the biology part, why we have this kind of energy, then we can produce adenosine triphosphate, like that, and this adenosine triphosphate will be the source of our glucoses, and it will stuck to the glycogen inside our body, the store, it stores all the glucoses units inside your body. When your body needs it, it will distribute it to different vital organs that needs it. Things like that. And the job of the glucagon hormone to communicate the other hormones in other vital organs. For example, pancre pancreas, the insulin hormone will communicate the glucagon hormone. Like that. I need glucose now because I am like this. And then it, it will signal to the brain cells. It, it will be received by the brain cells. And then the brain cells will signal the electrical signal to communicate. And okay. oh. Then this glucagon will be active. And he will give. Because say the glucagon will not give if there's no electrical signal coming from the neurons and the nerve cells. You get the point? So there's a process. Only electric electrochemical processes, meaning chemical processes plus electrical processes, are the only processes activated inside our human body. Okay, maybe it will come out also in the exam examination. What are the particular processes involved inside our body? Oh, it doesn't give me a A, like a light chemical reaction, B, nuclear reaction, and then like that, electromagnetic na. Pabitik-bitik ba? Okay, then ang answer lang pala, ano, electrical and chemical processes lang. Yes, sa gulang pa siya, mechanical. Oh, mechanical uh, activation. Hindi, <laughs> maglipog na yun nga nga kayong ka-encounter ang nga mga theory. Oh, diba? Wala siya ang advantage of yours and principles. Narap nila sa mga doctor na nag-score sa mga principles. Ha? Sa principles. Physical and chemical principles, day to coverage in a chemical engineering board examination. Okay. You got the point. Okay. So it's gonna be like that. Okay, that is Allah. And now we go to the DHA. Okay. Some of the DHA. Uy, nakakaloka. Okay. Docosa hexanoic acid. Okay, ganon. If you see the DHA, you'll never see the number number chuba chuchu, ha? Okay, you get the point. Ganon. So, ayaw ko sa DHA. Ah, ipa lang sakta. Kaya ang ipa pinta. Dali raman. Okay? So, epa. Charo. Okay, ganon. So, ipa. Nakakaluka yung ipa, di ba? Okay. Well, I know before recombinant DNA. I love it. Recombinant DNA. Katong kwa na there is a damage in the cells, in your DNA, in your genetic information, it will just repair by itself. 
the process is recombinant TNA, like that. So we need to say if there is damage or mismatch of your nucleotide bases in your DNA after the sequencing of your messenger RNA, nucleic acid in the genes, right? So we need to see there is a recombinant DNA function that will try to repair it by self alone. No need to eat food, no need to drink water, or no need to buy, buy vitamin C or anything, okay? Things like that. So that is recombinant DNA. When the DNA uh, cell damage will be occur, a mismatch of the cells. Uh, nucleic acid in our DNA and RNA, right? Like that. So APA, so APA, ECOSA, so so ECOSA, ECOSA, PENTA, or KAINOIC. So in this meaning of the acronym, guys, mga pala, akumitad, we don't put the die, the try, no more. The numbering only, you have to put that. Okay? Anak siya mga pala, akumitad. Okay? So, muna siya nito, no? So, anak siya. So, ECOSA, Pentaenoic. So we need to say there are 20 atoms of carbon. 20 H2 penta means 5. So there are 5 double bonds. Ganon. You get the point, mga palangga, kung itad. Ganon siya. Okay. Okay. Then 20 atoms of carbon. La. Like that. So, inong tiba ng karun na, if omega-3 fats pala, the carbon atoms number starts a range from 18 atoms to 22 atoms. Ganon. Right? Because the hydrogen will be easily adjusted. You get the point. Ganon. So, ano na yun siya? Let's draw the structural formula. So, there are five conjugated double bonds here. Okay? Ano na yun? Chow. Taradat. 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 Ganon. One. Ganon. Two. Ganon. Taradat. Taradat. Ganon. Taradat. Taradat. Oh, ganon. Oh, So, COH, COH, okay. COOH, okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect! 20 atoms of carbon. Now you say penta. So your double bond will be 5. It will start also with 5. Oh, 5. Now as I told you, what is the gap? 3. The next is 8. Another 3, 11. Okay. Another 3, 14. Another 3, 17. And 5 man siya. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's when we have penta. So, do, you don't need to memorize because you, it's understandable. Do not, uh, do not memorize. Understand the, the mechanism. Things like that. Okay. You know the point. So, start from 5 with double bond. Or 5. So, one, two, three, four, five. So the double bond is here. Okay. Eight, six, seven, the double bond is here. Eleven, the double bond is here. Nine, ten, eleven, the double bond is here. Fourteen, the double bond is here. Okay. Fifteen, the double bond is here. Okay. As you can notice, even though you did not count, the double bond will be on the top at the bottom on the polygon. Okay? So, no need to put beside. Always at top, bottom, top, bottom. So, if you can save your time, because it's the same story. In conjugated bases like this, in ED, APA and DHA, the double bond will be always at the top and the bottom of the conjugated base. Open conjugated base. This ring. And, and, and. Gone on. So, this is now... Ecosa penta in no weight acid. No need to name the number number chuba chuba chuba. But if you want, it will be difficult. Okay? So you will say, this is Ecosa. You will say, you will say Ecosa also. 
but the problem is with it. Um, five ecosa eight, and you will say one, two, three, four, five. So pinta i inoit. The same story, see? Pinta inoit. Okay, no need to make the number. You will say just five, eight, eleven, fourteen, seventeen. This is ecosa pintona with acid. The non. Okay, but you will never put the number, huh? You, this is only your identification where to put the double band. Okay, and that is EPA. So EPA, what are the foods which in EPA? Okay, so you need to eat, uh, as I told you, uh, fish, salmon, mackerel, sardine. It's all about fishes or seafoods. Seafoods. So, seafoods are good for the health, but but, 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 you do will never put too much salt and monosodium glutamate. Okay, that, because it can also alter the nutrients of this IPA. Okay, you will, what I mean, adjust the salt into adequate level only, not too much. Okay, so this is IPA. Okay, for the DHA, this is docosahexaenoic acid. Things like that. Okay. So, 6 mo ka po ko nabunga. So, magsak po sa 6. So, okay. Maalag sa 4. Okay. I'll try. Here, like this. Talalat. Ganon. Talalat. Ganon. So, alam mo na naman siya mga palang akong hitay. Charo. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ganon. Pasok sa banga. Okay, six, gone on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 so, this is understood carbon ha, with hydrogen, chuba chu chu. Well, lang ko because the emphasis is very clear. Once it's not written, that's the hydrogen already. Okay, so this is the formula of like this. Now, if you put the double bond at the bottom, you will adjust the number. Oh, one, two, three, four. So that is four. Okay, four. Okay, one, two, three, four. Uh, five, six, seven. That is seven. Oh, four, seven. Now, ah, so sequence. 3, right? So 4, 7, plus 3, 10, plus 3, 13, plus 3, 16, plus 3, 19. So it's gonna be 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19. Oh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Because you have 6 double bonds and 22 carbon atoms. 22 is to 6. So pasok sa banga. So this is your numbering. So you will say, okay, tokosa. Hexaenoic acid with numbering for 17, 13, 16, 19. Ganon. Okay. So what are the foods to be eaten for the DHA? So this all are all about fish oils. Again, the same with EPA. EPA and, EPA and DHA goes together because they are close with double ones 5 and 6. So fish oils, tuna, mackerel, salmon, sardines, like that seafoods okay get the point so these are rich omega-3 fats okay that's the structural formula now where does the other substances will react okay diba natin tumuhi dito nga COH yan ako tarala nabi siya COH na yun that's the CH3 now it depends asa siya mo react ato siya sa non-polar Okay, if the the compound or the molecule is non-polar, ato siya mula sa polar. You got the point? If the compound is non-polar, ato siya mula sa polar. So things like that. So polar plus non-polar is equal to neutral. Neutralization. Positive plus negative is equal to zero. So mula ak siya. You got the point? Ganon. For example, if we're going to see H3 diary ari, so H, 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 H. So usually, um, the one who react is a compound with OH, hydroxyl. Okay. So, sa mga to, nandun kayo sila, di ba? 
resveratrol, cholesterol, ethanol, methanol. Puti daghan na guys, okay, sodium hydroxide. Millions and trillions of chemicals inside our body will react with OH to react with H. Okay, positive uh, ion and negative ion. Okay, so OH plus H. Oh. Then it will become water. So water in a product. So this is really condensation, right? Condensation or hydration. Because you add water producing in the product. With, with the alcohol. This is normally alcohol or bases. If you try to react with the terminal of CH3 of this particular unsaturated fats, DHA, ALA, and EPA. Now, if your, if your compound also is positive, it will react to the COH here. COOH here. Because OH negative, and oxygen also is negative in the carboxylic, you know, valence electron. No, that's valence. Yes, charge, negative, an ion, negative one, negative one. So, the one we have here is also the H, the alkyl, the positive. Okay, for example, uh, let's say uh, ammonium, ammonium positive, what it will be up there because this is negative. Uh, there's a lot, okay? What else? Uh, methane, like that, because the uh, is positive man siya. Okay, like that. You get the point that negative. All a uh, polar compound. Pol uh, non-polar, sorry. Non-polar compound. Because they are uh, exhibiting uh, non-polar covalent bonding. That's what they call non-polar compounds. The uh, petrochemicals and the petroleum and the hydrocarbons are all non-polar compounds. Sorry. Okay, you get the point. Non-polar molecular uh, molecular non-polar covalent compound again molecular non-polar covalent compound so this is hydrocarbon okay for example i have methane oh, see all atoms in carbon has been completely shared to hydrogen there's no excess electrons in both carbon and hydrogen so completely shared so that is so the, the types of covalent bonding is non-polar so that is non-polar covalent and we are referring to compound we will change that to compound the band so non-polar compound and since this is highly molecular why because if you add non-metal to non-metal that is molecular if you add non-metal to metal that is a unique Okay, in character. Now, molecular is non-metal and non-metal na yun siya. Exclusively. Okay? So, if you try to strictly distinguish all compounds, you ca technically, you cannot just say, this is a compound. You need to specify if it is a molecular or a unit. Because in that way, you can determine the chemical reactions through that behavior. Because if you cannot understand, how can you put that in an aqueous solution to yield that particular products to exhibit their characteristics if it undergoes ionization potential, electronegativity, electron affinity, reduction and oxidation, things like that. Or how can you transfer the electrons from one, from one element to another element? Something like that you will never understand if it is a unique compound, if it is a molecular compound. So these things can be, teach, can be taught already in chemistry high school. Okay, if you are really attentive in your chemistry high school, then you will never find difficulty in your college chemistry. Okay, like that. You get the point? Things like this. Okay, pas pas na kita makaksabog dito sa first year college. Okay, you get the point? Any questions so far? Mula siya mga palabak na kita. Okay, any questions so far for this topic? So nothing, right? If you want to share this video, you can like. And if you comment down below, you can share also to anybody else. And you can subscribe to the channel. This is the game See you later. Bye bye, guys, everybody. Ganon. Nakakaloka.